Wellington Trust welcomes you to Future Maritime Engineers. You have been brought here today because you have shown an interest in engineering already. And we're trying to show you that engineering isn't just about wearing a boiler suit and getting oily hands. It's much more than that and there are a wide range of possibilities within maritime engineering. I didn't know anything till I came here, but it's, it sounds like a very interesting sector. It's very exciting, I'm learning like, a lot. I feel like people should consider it, because you can do anything. You can work in an office, if you like office type job, you can work on a sea type job. Quite interested in like the Navy and stuff, weapon systems and stuff like that, so it's going to be quite a lot of useful information for me to have. I'll add it to my notes on my phone for future consideration. We're trying to show to youngsters that there are opportunities for really exciting developments in the future, such as mass, which is ships going out to sea completely on their own, and they are being directed from land. We're looking at robotics and uh, underwater vehicles. Just trying to really excite these youngsters into the possibilities for engineering in the future. Okay, so who wants to drive this one? Okay, go over in the captain's seat on the left hand side there then. Uh, you've got control of the thrusters. So we're on a tug, okay? In Portsmouth, well, tugs are used for manoeuvring big and much bigger ships around. There are plenty of mines uh, in, in Portsmouth Harbour at the moment. There's a bit more. Keep wide a bit. Yeah. Uh, I just, I just now. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, That's one of the mines from behind us. <laughs> Oh. oh my god, oh, keep going. Oh. 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 Just a little bit of jeopardy in there actually makes you start thinking about uh, <laughs> avoiding different things uh, and trying to stay ahead of the game. What is it like a toy? What do you think? You are going to have a particular amount of resources to do this, and we're going to do it in a particular way for you to design your model and build your model. So relatively straightforward, relatively simple, but should be quite high impact and give you give you a good experience. Don't have it too high or too low. Make sure it's at the same height on the on the actual. It's actually a, a relatively straightforward exercise from an engineering point of view. Uh, I think the important aspect is not necessarily being successful, but when it goes wrong, seeing why it goes wrong and understanding why it goes wrong, and then learning from it. Do not choose this for the money. It is a lifestyle. Imagine yourself being at sea for four months. You do not see your family or your friends. Okay? Can you do that? Think of that. Okay? Because it's not for everyone. And that's why it's not for you, then you consider those shoreside jobs I was telling you about. We don't just do the technical training, of course, you're building young leaders, so people who can inspire young managers, uh, problem solvers, free thinkers. So of course if people decide at the future date actually they want to move out of the maritime sector uh, into something completely different, whether it's aviation, manufacturing, insurance, whatever it is, those are the key skills that companies want to see.
Serco delighted to um, welcome people from the Wellington Trust on board. Um, our aspiration is that, um, you know, as a result of their visits to Portsmouth Naval Base, that they'll pick up an understanding of how skills can be applied in the naval environment, in the maritime industry, particularly those engineering skills which are you know, becoming increasingly hard to um, source at the moment. This year we've taken on the best part of 1,300 apprentices in our early careers, ranging from level two um, occupations right up to uh, level seven master's degrees in systems engineering. It was an amazing experience. My best part was obviously visiting the amazing Prince of Wales we have here behind. I love the history of this whole port. I love everything about this and I've definitely considered uh, a possible career in this uh, amazing industry. There's so many different aspects inside and with maritime itself there's so many different opportunities and careers you can get into and with the Navy also you can get your degree paid for. There's so many different opportunities and advantages you should just have to take care of. But since coming on this trip um, I've been become more fond of this industry and I might become a mechanical engineer. I found out quite a lot to be honest and I feel like it's something that I'd actually enjoy doing in the future. What has been lovely is I've asked them as the days have gone on, what is it that you really enjoyed, what have you picked out, they're, oh it's been really good fun, we got to do this, we got to do that and I was asking one of the youngsters just now, have you enjoyed it, he said oh miss, he said, this has been so good and going on the Prince of Wales has just been the icing on the cake and that's just what we wanted, we don't want them to say yes definitely this is going to be my future career but what we have been aiming for is just to expand their horizons, just to say right yeah this is a possibility. I'm going to go away and explore a bit more. It has blown my socks off.